The Raptor 3 can literally blow itself up in 10 milliseconds. Elon Musk just dropped this bombshell truth. SpaceX's most powerful engine, 280 tons of thrust, has a deadly startup flaw. One tiny timing mistake and boom, total destruction. But here's the shocking part. This nearly killed SpaceX's Mars mission. So what's this insane timing sequence that's so dangerous? And how did SpaceX solve this nightmare before it was too late? Let's dive right in. August 2024. SpaceX drops a photo that makes the entire rocket industry lose their minds. The Raptor 3 engine looks impossibly clean, like someone stripped away 90% of the parts. Tony Bruno, CEO of United Launch Alliance, publicly calls SpaceX liars on Twitter. No need to exaggerate by showing a partially assembled engine. Every aerospace expert agrees. This has to be fake. Four days later, Gwyn Shotwell ends the debate with one devastating video. That exact same fake engine firing up with a perfect blue flame. Her brutal caption, works pretty good for a partially assembled engine. The industry goes silent but nobody knows the terrifying secret hiding behind that clean exterior. Then came the confession that changed everything. Replying to a post on X, Elon Musk dropped a bombshell that sent shockwaves through SpaceX. Very complex startup sequence. Insane timing precision is needed to avoid blowing up the engine. Wait, the world's most advanced rocket engine can literally explode during startup? The CEO of SpaceX just admitted their masterpiece is a death trap? This wasn't some minor technical issue. Musk was revealing that every single Raptor 3 startup is a game of Russian roulette with a 10 millisecond trigger. You blink your eyes in 300 milliseconds. The Raptor 3 requires timing precision 30 times faster than that human blink. Miss that window by even a few milliseconds? The engine doesn't just fail, it detonates. But how can the most powerful rocket engine ever built be this close to self-destruction? The answer lies in what SpaceX calls full-flow stage combustion, the most dangerous way to power a rocket ever attempted. Most engines work like a garden hose, simple, predictable, safe. Raptor 3 works like a controlled nuclear reaction happening 1,000 times per second. Here's the death sequence. During startup, two massive turbo pumps must spin up to speed that would shred a car engine. These pumps force liquid methane and oxygen both colder than the surface of Mars, through microscopic channels at pressures that could crush a submarine. Then comes the killer. The pre-burners must ignite in perfect sequence within 10 milliseconds. The fuel ratios have to be exact, the pressure curves must match perfectly, and the timing cannot be off by even a microsecond. What happens if something goes wrong? SpaceX engineers have a term for it, hard start. That's their polite way of saying, catastrophic explosion that sends metal fragments flying at supersonic speeds. One SpaceX engineer described it to me. Starting a Raptor is like trying to light 33 sticks of dynamite simultaneously while they're all connected by invisible fuses. Light them in the wrong order and everything explodes. But here's where Musk's revelation becomes truly terrifying. This problem almost killed SpaceX's Mars colonization dream before it began. Starship uses 39 Raptor engines, 33 on the booster, 6 on the upper stage. Each engine has that same 10 millisecond death window. That's 39 individual opportunities for catastrophic failure on every mission. The math is brutal. With each engine having startup failure risks, mission success rates plummet to levels that would make NASA administrators resign in terror. But Mars missions? That's where the nightmare becomes real. There's no rescue ship. No emergency return to Earth. No backup plan. If even one engine fails during the nine-month journey, everyone dies in the vacuum of space. Musk knew this. SpaceX engineers knew this. They were building the most advanced rocket in history, but it was too dangerous to actually use for its intended purpose. Then came the breakthrough that nobody saw coming. July 2025. SpaceX announces what sounds like the most boring upgrade in rocket history. A fuel transfer tube running down super heavy center. The rocket community ignores it completely. Massive mistake. This isn't just a tube. It's the solution to the 10 millisecond death problem. And it works in the most unexpected way. 
During flight, when Starship performs those heart-stopping flip maneuvers, something deadly happens inside the fuel tanks. The remaining 775 metric tons of liquid propellant starts behaving like water in a paint shaker. The fuel gets thrown around violently, creating pressure drops that starve engines of propellant at the exact moment they need it most. Now picture this. You're trying to start 33 engines that require split-second timing, but half of them aren't getting enough fuel because it's sloshing around like soup in a blender. Recipe for disaster. The new tube solves this by acting like a fuel IV drip. It maintains constant pressure and feeds all 39 engines simultaneously through perfectly calibrated lines. No pressure drops. No fuel starvation. No more 10 millisecond death windows. But Musk's next revelation was even more shocking. Adding that fuel tube creates a new crisis. Wait. In space, every gram matters. The tube system adds roughly 2,000 kilograms to Starship, equivalent to removing 20 passengers from a Mars mission. SpaceX engineers faced an impossible choice. Keep the lightweight design and risk catastrophic engine explosions, or add weight and potentially condemn Mars colonists to smaller crews and reduce supplies. Musk made the call. Reliability over cargo capacity. His reasoning was ice-cold logic. What good is extra cargo space if you never make it to Mars alive? This weight penalty could reduce the first Mars mission crew from 100 people to 80. That's 20 fewer scientists, doctors, and engineers trying to build humanity's first off-world city. But that wasn't the only problem the new engine created. In a candid interview, Musk revealed another shocking truth about Raptor 3. The next-gen Raptor engine is actually difficult to service. There are parts that don't have flanges anymore. It's just welded shut. To change a part, you need to literally cut it open. Read that again. The world's most advanced rocket engine might require surgery for basic maintenance. This creates a terrifying scenario for Mars missions. When you're 140 million miles from Earth and an engine needs repair, you can't just order replacement parts. If something breaks deep inside a Raptor 3, the only option might be to cut open a $2 million engine with power tools. One wrong cut, and you've just destroyed your only way home. But the startup problem was just one death trap. Raptor 3 faces another way to die. Reentry heat. When Starship returns from space, it becomes a 165-foot meteor traveling at 17,000 miles per hour. External temperatures reach 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt copper. Previous Raptor versions needed thick heat shields to survive. Raptor 3? SpaceX removed those shields entirely. Their solution sounds impossible. Wrap each engine in thousands of microscopic cooling channels, laser etched into the metal, allowing super cold fuel to flow through like liquid armor. The result looks like magic. Raptor 3 survives temperatures that would vaporize steel while looking cleaner than a Formula One engine. But this cooling system required removing access panels, maintenance ports, and diagnostic equipment. The engine became more reliable but less repairable, a trade-off that could prove fatal on Mars. Here's a secret SpaceX doesn't advertise. They've been systematically eliminating sensors from Raptor engines since day one. Traditional rockets are covered in hundreds of sensors monitoring every parameter. SpaceX took the opposite approach. Remove sensors because sensors fail, and when they fail, they can destroy perfectly good engines. Proof? SpaceX recently lost their first Falcon 9 in over 300 launches because of one loose sensor line. A $100 sensor destroyed $50 million of hardware. Raptor 3 continues this sensor elimination. Fewer sensors mean fewer failure points, but it also means flying partially blind. SpaceX is betting their engines are so well designed, they don't need constant monitoring. It's either genius or insanity. The Mars missions will prove which. But why did SpaceX rush Raptor 3 development? Musk revealed the answer in another shocking admission. SpaceX plans to fly 25 Starship missions this year alone. 25 flights means 975 individual engine startups, each one a potential 10 millisecond death scenario. The old Raptor 2 couldn't handle that launch cadence. Too many failures. Too many explosions, too many delays. Raptor 3 had to work perfectly, immediately, 
or SpaceX's entire Mars timeline would collapse. The pressure was so intense that space engineers were working 80-hour weeks, sleeping in the factory, testing engines at 3 a.m. One engineer told me, we weren't just building an engine, we were racing against the physics of Mars orbital windows. Miss the 2026 launch window to Mars, and you wait 26 months for the next one. Miss that, and SpaceX's competitors might beat them to the red planet. Here's what Musk hasn't told the public yet. Raptor 3 still faces its ultimate test. The engine works perfectly on Earth, but Mars is different. The atmospheric pressure is 1% of Earth's. The gravity is 38% weaker. The temperature swings from 70 degrees Fahrenheit to negative 195 degrees Fahrenheit in a single day. When the first Starship tries to land on Mars, those Raptor 3 engines will face conditions they've never experienced. The startup sequence that's so dangerous on Earth becomes even more unpredictable in the alien environment of Mars. If the engines fail during Mars landing, there's no rescue mission. The crew dies and humanity's multiplanetary dreams die with them. But here's the most shocking revelation. Musk knows Raptor 3 still isn't good enough for Mars. In private conversations with SpaceX engineers, he's already talking about Raptor 4, not as an improvement, but as a complete reimagining of rocket propulsion. Variable geometry nozzles. AI-controlled combustion. Self-healing materials. The rumors are wild. Thrust levels approaching the theoretical limits of chemical rockets. Startup sequences so reliable they could work underwater. Cooling systems that actually improve with heat. Raptor 3 was never meant to get us to Mars. It was meant to prove that the impossible startup problem could be solved. The real Mars engine is still being built in secret. Every time you watch a Starship launch, you're witnessing something unprecedented. 39 engines that could explode but choose not to. 39 systems that could fail but decide to work. 39 chances for disaster that instead become stepping stones to the stars. The 10 millisecond death window isn't just an engineering problem. It's the razor's edge between human extinction and human expansion across the galaxy. Musk's confession about Raptor 3's startup dangers wasn't just technical honesty. It was a warning. We're closer to becoming a multiplanetary species than ever before, but we're still one timing error away from catastrophic failure. The question isn't whether Raptor 3 will explode during startup. It's whether we'll master the timing precision needed to survive beyond Earth before our planet decides it's done with us. So here we are. SpaceX solved the 10 millisecond death problem that almost killed their Mars dreams. But Musk's confession reveals something bigger. We're still just one timing error away from losing everything. Every Starship launch is humanity rolling the dice with 39 engines that could explode. Every successful startup brings us closer to becoming a multiplanetary species. Every failure reminds us how fragile our cosmic ambitions really are. The real question isn't whether Raptor 3 will work perfectly, it's whether we'll master the precision needed to survive beyond Earth before our planet decides it's done with us. What do you think? Are we moving too fast with technology this dangerous? Or is the risk of staying on one planet even greater? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to dive deeper into the engineering madness that makes space exploration possible, hit that subscribe button. Because trust me, the Raptor 3 story is just the beginning of SpaceX's wildest secrets. Until next time, keep looking up. NASA just got embarrassed. They handed $400 million to three companies to replace the ISS. All three are failing. Meanwhile, a startup called VAST, with zero NASA funding, just crushed them all. How? They're launching Haven 1 in May 2026, while NASA's picks struggle with delays and money problems. But here's the crazy part. VAST isn't just building another space station. They're creating artificial gravity in space, something never done before. So how did a no-name company with no government money beat NASA's golden children? Let's dive right in. NASA's Boardroom 2021. Three aerospace titans receive the biggest space station contracts in history. Blue Origin gets their slice. 
Axiom Space gets theirs, Northrup Grumman joins the feast. $400 million divided among the obvious winners. The media celebrates. Industry experts nod approvingly. These companies have decades of experience, government connections, and proven track records. What could go wrong? Today's reality check. Blue Origin's Orbital Reef exists only in PowerPoint slides. Axiom Space is bleeding money despite $100 million in funding. Northrop Grumman took the cash and quit entirely. But while NASA's chosen champion stumbled through bureaucratic quicksand, a crypto billionaire in Texas just activated a weapon so devastating it's about to render their entire $400 million investment worthless. The weapon? A partnership with SpaceX that changes everything. Jed McCaleb made his fortune creating one of the first Bitcoin exchanges, then disappeared from the crypto world with enough money to chase an impossible dream. While NASA's contractors were designing floating laboratories, McCaleb was developing something that sounded like pure science fiction, a space station that spins to create artificial gravity. Every human who's ever lived in space has floated helplessly. Zero gravity destroys bones, dissolves muscle mass, and wrecks cardiovascular systems. It's been the fundamental curse of space living for 60 years. McCaleb's solution violated every assumption about space station design. Instead of accepting weightlessness as inevitable, he decided to engineer it away entirely. NASA's experts dismissed this as fantasy. The technical challenges seemed impossible. The risks were enormous. But McCaleb had something NASA's bureaucratic giants lacked. The freedom to attempt the impossible without asking permission? May 2023. While Blue Origin sketched concepts and Axiom drowned in committee meetings, VAST detonated a bombshell that sent panic through NASA's inner circle. SpaceX, the company that humiliated Boeing, crushed Lockheed Martin, and became NASA's most reliable partner, announced they were abandoning NASA's official winners for an unknown startup, not just a launch contract, complete partnership, Falcon 9 rocket, Crew Dragon spacecraft, astronaut training, emergency procedures, everything. Why would Elon Musk's empire bet on a crypto millionaire's spinning space station over NASA's hand-picked champions?